Look at each other like that. Think I should ask him out? Yes. Yes. Don't look at my sister like that. Like what? Like what? I saw you. Crystal's a big girl now. She can make her own choices. Yeah, you think so, eh? <laughs> Not so tough without your RC homies around, eh? your name on the football tryout roster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like this. Some of the guys don't want any fags on the football team. What? You know, sharing a dressing room and everything. Bad for morale, they say. Think about it. Sandy. Sandy. He's pretty bummed out. He says if he tries out for the football team, Chris's friends are gonna kick his ass. Chris doesn't like you or something? He said they didn't want any fags on the football team. I never knew. Shut up. I'm not, I'm not a fag. What? Okay, there's this rumor that you're gay and Sandy is your boyfriend. No, oh, oh, oh. Wait, I'm not. I'm not his boyfriend. I mean, I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, what? Should have seen the look on that guy's face when he found out I didn't have a record. Did he frisk you? Yeah, and he was pretty rough about it too. What are you doing now? I'm gonna write down what happened before I forget any of it. Are you gonna file a complaint? No. Better. I'm gonna write about it for Renegade. Officers Fitzgerald and Laramie. Jack, do you remember what the server said when they let Renegade back online? Avoid controversy. Yeah. I mean, at least until the lawsuit is settled. Let me co-write it with you. It'll be your story. But I'll talk to the police, I'll get their side of it, and the server will see that it's all balanced. You'll sugarcoat it. I won't sugarcoat it, I never sugarcoat anything. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Do you promise you won't post anything on the website until I talk to the police? I promise. 
Thank you. Jack. Have a good night. You too. I just want to talk. Forget it. What, you're never going to talk to me? You're red clan. So? So forget it. He is so hot. <laughs> Keep walking. So you won't use my name? No. Sure, I can tell you some stories. Cops are rough you up? What do you think? I took my cousin for a ride too. Where? The usual place. Did you ask Jack out? Chicken. I couldn't find the right moment. Right. Okay. It's like I don't want to ruin something that's good, you know? To find something better? Maybe. But it's weird. I mean, how do you go beyond being best friends? By asking him out. I will. I mean, when, when time is right. Maybe when we finish the story. What? I mean it. Yeah, well, you better hurry up and finish the story then. Well, I will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Officer Laramie? Hi. Um, my name is Zoe Jones. I write for an online magazine for teenagers called renegadepress.com. Okay. You and Officer Fitzgerald frisked two native youth yesterday, Michael Lone Eagle and Jack Sinclair. Why did you approach them? It had nothing to do with the fact that they were native? It's just that Jack Sinclair is, um, is my best friend and he's become very angry at the police. Talk to our public relations officer. Peggy. What are you doing? So, um, why don't you have a girlfriend? If I was gay, I would be very offended right now. Guys. Would you say Oscar's very color-coordinated today? And that makes me gay? Let's just say I'd rather spend less time together. Oh, well, you're breaking up with me? Shut up. Guys. I've got an idea. I'll pretend to be your girlfriend. I mean, guys shouldn't be denied their right to play football. Right? Great. One condition. You let me in on your Truth and Rumors webpage. Sure. Cool. Come on. Let's be seen. Unfortunate incidents have happened, but the department has been making strides to improve its relationship with the Aboriginal community, and we have come a long way in the last few years. I know it's not much, but she admits stuff has happened, and it gives us balance. I guess. So do we have the story? No, we don't. A ghost told me his cousin was picked up and dropped off down at Industry Row. It's where that guy froze to death just a few years ago. And three RC members were dropped off in the same spot. All in the last month. They even had their shoes taken. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go down there and take some pictures. Well, I'm going to go with you. It's 
a bit of a walk from here. That's okay. Well, I think it's this way. So what are we looking for anyways? Proof that the police draw people off out here. of the shoot of the police and we write the story with what we've got we talk to as many people as we can and find out how often this really happens you're assuming this happens a lot it does i'm worried that the web server will think it's too much screw them okay i'm worried that you'll piss off the police and they'll come after you i won't go that far Go out or something. Like a, a a date? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Not here. Keep smiling. I really hope this works. There they are. each other. Hey, you're gonna talk about whatever and it's gonna be all awkward and it's gonna be great. I just hope we can forget about the police long enough to have a good time. Go on a date or something? No, it's just, um, me and Zoe, we're just... Yeah, right. Your date? What do you want? I'm here to see your brother. What? Go says if you want a real story, meet him tonight. Why tonight? Beer it out. So this is our date then? Patty, one kiss and it's all over, right? Hey, Sandy. You any good? Huh? At football. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I led my, my team in interceptions last year. Just watch the impression you give people. Happy now? Back on the homophobic football team? Yeah, not everyone has to like gay people.
bro, your moony ass quasis, eh? She's a friend. She won't get in the way. Moony ass quasis? Means pretty. <laughs> so you know what that cop you're telling me about? He thumped one of my cousins through the phone book last night. Phone book? They hold it against your body, they punch it, it hurts like hell and doesn't leave any marks. Your cousin go on tape? No, but he'll give you all the gory details, badge numbers and all, but it has to go down tonight. He's heading back to the res tomorrow. What's up? Cops are after us. No? Yeah! Now get the hell away from me, man! Death wish, and yes, I'm ready to come with the clip, the nine in my hand, the sun is ready to rip. Death wish, and yes, I'm ready to come with the clip, the nine in my hand, the sun is ready to rip. Death wish. Shot with the cops try to drop your only one way to stop them. That's why I gotta take the law in my hand. Grab my Is Jack here? No. What the hell happened? You sure? Yeah, okay, bye. He said they have no record of him being held in custody. Then where is he? Dad's the executive director of the Native Center. Mm -hmm. Nice try. <laughs> that phone book. No, man, you can't let him do this to me. Out. on yourself you can't do this anymore I can't I won't let you sir fine Come on, we'll get you home. A walk. Have it your way. Didn't do anything to you? No. I'll tell you guys about it on the way back home. So are you gonna write about this? I don't know. Might be a little too controversial. Some date, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, what does the Mineo Squasis really mean? Munia Squasis? That's the one. It means white girl. So what does that make you, my savage warrior? Savage warrior? 
You know, a man fighting for his people. You don't understand. It's it's not like that. It's complicated. Jack, it's me here. It's a native thing, okay? I don't care about the native thing, okay? Is your mom gonna be here right away? Yeah. <laughs> Wanna come wait inside? No, it's okay. Assumptions have a way of clouding the way we see things. They come out of fear and create fear. They stop us from seeing what's real. And if we find out what's real, then what are we really afraid of? The truth is, assumptions are hard to get rid of. I'm a teenager, I'm native. I assume I have to watch out for the bad guys and the good guys. How do I get rid of that? Sorry about last night, I just... Don't worry about it. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Place this conversation. 